Good morning, kids and families of the heart. We've been talking about the idea of prayer with our kids here during the kids moment. And we've been using a little bit of creativity in our prayer life through our movement prayers. We're trying to learn from the language of the Psalms how to pray to God with a richer conversation. So we've invited our kids to act out and enjoy the imagery of the Psalms with their wiggles. So this morning, we're gonna talk about prayer that's maybe a little bit closer to home. Praying for our friends, our family, and our loved ones. How do we do that, kids? I have a friend of mine who was a missionary for a number of years, and one way that we kept his concerns and, and remembered to pray for him and his family, we had this picture of their family on our refrigerator, and it reminded us to pray about what they were doing. And so, kids, during this season where we're not spending as much time with our groups of friends as we'd want to, maybe we can find some creative ways to keep them in front of us so we can remember to pray for them. So me and Rowan thought about this and here's what we came up with. All right, buddy, can you draw your friends? But I just don't know how, how I draw, but I just don't know how I draw. Um... Who do you want to draw? Wait, I don't, wait, that doesn't work very good. That's okay, you're doing great. Just draw a couple people. You want to draw Everly or Augustine? Who do you want to draw? Yeah. Okay. But this, it's okay to draw with that part. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, who do you want to draw first? But I draw with this. Everly, Augustine, Mommy, Daddy, who do you want to draw? Everly. Everly? Good job. Okay. My hands are right on my head. <laughs> um, really in my picture. Who else is in your picture? Um, Effie. Oh no. Who else is in your picture? Oh, um, Effie. Yeah. This is one way, Rowan, that we can remember our friends is that we can draw a picture. And what do you want to do with it? Do you want to hang it on the refrigerator? So I can see it. Let's go hang it on the refrigerator. Yeah, here. All right, let's go. Here this goes. It's not working. Why don't you find a magnet, bud? I think I'll use. I got it. Rowan and friend. Can can we spell their names on the fridge? I think that would be a fun way. Yeah. To. To remember to pray for our friends, right? Yeah. Yes, right. I'm just trying to make somebody's names. Letters are my. Uh, I'm gonna use this letter next. And this letter. And this letter. Good um, job, bud. Now, if his name is all finished, it says F A R E. Can you see a bat? Ask her if you can pray about anything for her. Say, do you want me to pray for you? Yeah. Um, I can pray about um, uh, Toys World. Did you know that God loves it when we pray for one another? So guys, remember, you can pray for one another. And even if we don't feel as close as we want to right now because of this thing called coronavirus and the idea of social distance, but maybe in God we can Feel closer to one another. After our worship time has ended, kids and families, why don't you get together and decorate your refrigerator or journal or whatever you use with your friends 
and call them and ask them how to pray for them. We can grow closer to God through prayer and we can find ourselves closer to one another. All right, Godspeed. I hope you guys have a great morning.